Okay, how's this? He's an amiable fellow and a big supporter of Title IX. Oh, bullshit. All right. He's an amiable fellow who's attended two WNBA games. Is that true? No. And besides, you never went to one of Sammy's softball games. I invited you so many times. The kid couldn't even lift up a pencil. Oh, stop it. She's very talented. All right, how about this? Any woman who Larry David impregnated, he not only paid for the abortion, but accompanied her to the procedure. That's true. You're wasting my time. Leave. You're not going to buy a brick? Well, apparently not. Hello? Hey, Larry, it's Cyrus. Irma's sponsor? Yeah, I know who you are. Yeah, look, I just wanted to call you because my daughter met with that woman you recommended, uh, Jenna. Yeah, look, um, you, you gotta... She was great. <laughs> huh? My daughter said she gave great notes. She made the script better. It was amazing. Seriously? Yeah. I thought she wouldn't even give her the time of day. Yeah, for a high-powered executive, she's very down-to-earth, isn't she? Yeah, right? They even met at a coffee shop. I know, you, you think she's just a regular person. Anyway, Dana wanted to send her some flowers to her office at Disney, so if you could shoot me her address. Yeah, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think you need to do that. Well, I live by the uh, Americana in Glendale. I could just go over and get a gift card and, and send it over. How about that? No, not necessary. I'll just pass on um, your enthusiasm. Larry! Okay, well, you know best. Larry, where are my Listen. sleep uh, brassiers? How the fuck do I know? I just want to say I owe you one. I really do. If there's anything I can do for you. Larry! What? So, uh, Never mind. They were in the hamper. They're not that dirty. Anything you need from me, you just say the word, okay? You know, um, now that you mention it, there actually is something you can do. Yeah, say the word. According to your timeline, I have eight weeks left with Irma. I'm wondering if there's any possible way that we can move that up. Wait, you're saying you want to break up with her early? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Is there any reason? Yeah, I hate her. That's the reason. How's that? Look, I don't know what to tell you. I'm struggling here, Cyrus. And Sienna Miller is interested in me. <laughs> I'm not joking. She is. When is this gonna happen again? Never. So come on, okay. help a brother out. Is there anything we can do? Larry, I appreciate everything you've done for us. But a breakup would just set her back, and I can't allow that to happen. Is that better than murder? Who benefits from murder? She's dead and I'm in prison. Larry, I think you're saying a lot of things you don't mean right now. No, no, I mean it. Come on, there's gotta be a way. If she were to break up with you, I guess that would be okay. Her idea? Then that would give her the power Give her her own agency. Oh, yeah. Like it's gonna be her idea. On what planet? That's never gonna happen. I'm sorry, but thank you. Larry, where are my bunion splints? Today was amazing though, cause you know Penny, she's normally a chipmunk, Chipper Dale. She's in like what we call fur right. all the time. She got to be Tinkerbell this week and it was unbelievable. And we were so happy for her and she was so good at the kids and she was just having the best time ever because she's never a face character. I mean, she's a little tall to be a pixie, but she was incredible. And they had a Peter Pan, Ian right. was being Peter Pan that day and the chemistry was.